Hello everyone, this is Taria from Hidden Truth Tarot, and this is going to be for the Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign of Pisces. Pisces, this is your weekly general reading for the 2nd through the 8th of September, 2019. Now I'm using the Oracle of the Unicorns along with Crystal's Angels. I will be pulling two Guardian Angel Tarot cards as well for further confirmation in your reading. I am using the Arcanum Tarot for your weekly general messages. And at the end of your reading, I will be pulling several I Can Do It positive thought cards for you as well. So we have dance coming up here. Beautiful positive energy. Thank you, Spirit. What does Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising sign need to know this week, Spirit? Thank you. All right, so we have progress, not perfection. All right, thank you, Spirit. All right, Spirit, what does Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising sign need to know this week? Second through the 8th of September. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. All right. Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign, Spirit. Second through the eighth. All right, Pisces, we're ready. Situation of the week. We have the Four of Swords. Crossing you is the King of Swords. And your foundation is the Ace of Wands. Recent past energy, we have the Seven of Swords. Crowning you is the Fool. Your new circumstance, beautiful, the Ace of Cups. From the bottom of the deck, oh, I love it. Your overall energy is the Ten of Cups, beautiful. Thank you, Spirit. All right. What does Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising sign need to know this week, Spirit? <laughs> All right. So we have Go Within. And we have Choose Freedom. All right. All right, Pisces, let's go ahead. Let's take a look at your major energies right here. So we have dance coming up here. Move your body to music. Dance with the rhythm of life. Manifest your dreams through dance. Beautiful energy. Now we have progress, not perfection. Don't compare yourself to others or judge yourself. Instead, focus upon how far you've come and all that you've learned. Beautiful. And now we have the overall energy with the Ten of Cups here. This is so positive. This talks about happiness within your heart and your soul. This can be family happiness. For those of you that are single, you, you don't have a family, you don't have children. This is talking about the joy that's within your heart. This talks about a promise of more to come with this energy as well. Uh, the Ten of Cups is, you know, blessings. You know, there's an abundance of some type of opportunity or happiness and joy, emotional satisfaction that is taking place in your life. Now, we do have Go Within. You are a very intuitive person. And there are many wonderful insights that lie waiting inside you. Take time to be quiet and reflect upon the desires of your heart through meditation or prayer. There's no need to take action right now. Be patient with yourself. Choose Freedom. 
Sometimes you may feel as though your way is blocked, but often that's just an illusion. You could free yourself from the obstacles that you're so focused on by choosing a different path. Turn your thoughts away from negativity and instead envision endless other possibilities you might act upon. Beautiful. All right, so the situation of the week is the Four of Swords. And this is an energy of pausing and reflecting, um, gaining some insight through meditation, a time of temporary retreat, contemplation before moving forward. Um, I feel for some of you, you may need a rest. You may need a time of rejuvenation here. Uh, because your cup is fixing to be, you know, overrun it, all right? So you have opportunities and blessings coming in, and you need to make sure that you're, you're prepared and you're ready for the abundance that's coming into your life. Now, we do have the King of Swords in your crossing energy. This is the energy of Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. The King of Swords is an energy of being very direct, speaking your truth, standing in your truth. Uh, this is also, you know, being very assertive, all right? And I feel that there's a balance here. I, I feel that there may be a need to cut out toxic people or situations uh, that you may have been dealing with. Um, this is all about justice as well, I feel. Um, this is about fairness, making sure that you're using logic and reason to make balanced and fair and just decisions as well. And I feel like, you know, you're at this time, you're doing what's best for you. And you're really asserting yourself and showing who Pisces really is. Uh, some of you may be taking a stand for what you believe in this week as well. Now we have the Ace of Wands coming up here in your foundation. This is what's moving you forward. This is what's driving you this week. This is just a beautiful energy. This is you having a new beginning, you know, a new adventure in your life. And there's a lot of passion and desire that's backing this energy with what, it, you know, this is going to be different uh, because there are so many of you watching. But whatever this new beginning has to do with, it could be a new job, it could be a career change. This is very positive and it's, you know, it's going to allow for growth and a fresh start. And there's a lot of creativity with this as well. Now we do have the Seven of Swords coming up here in your recent past energy. Uh, this could be the people maybe that you're needing to uh, cut away, maybe uh, toxic uh, this could have been somebody that was in your situation that was lying to you, deceiving you, maybe even theft. Now, I'm feeling that's not for everyone. I feel for the majority of you, this talks about gaining more knowledge and insight before moving forward. Uh, really doing research and, you know, tapping into that well of knowledge that you hold within yourself, Pisces, before making a move. And, you know, this also talks about making sure all your T's are crossed and I's are dotted and you're not overlooking anything as well. Now we have the full coming up here. This is your crowning energy. This is what you know. This is what you're thinking about. Here we go again. And it's mirroring each other. You have a new beginning here of something that is a creative vision. Uh, there, there's a lot of excitement and enthusiasm around this. And Spirit is saying, you know, this is what you know. This is what you're thinking about. This is you starting this new journey. This is you exploring your options, um, how you're going to move forward, trusting in the universe, and taking that leap of faith in, in doing so. And I really feel like it's very important for you to believe in yourself at this time as well, Pisces. Now, we have the Ace of Cups coming up here as your new circumstance. This is your cup runneth over. This is endless abundance and, uh, you know, this could be a representation of emotional satisfaction, an abundance of that coming into your life. This could be an abundance of money, prosperity. Uh, it's going to be different for because there is so many of you. But receiving these two energies right here, 
you know, with the 10 being the overall energy, you know, there's a promise of more to come. Whatever brings you this, this real true satisfaction within your heart and soul is right here. You know, you have three cards here that represent new beginnings, all right? A, a new beginning and moving forward. And it's going to bring an abundance of what it is that you're moving into, what you're, you're moving towards. This could be unconditional love for yourself or for others. This could be, you know, you becoming one with your higher self as well. Some of you, if you are looking or interested in a uh, romance, that could definitely, there could be an opportunity for that this week. For those of you that are married, uh, there could be some passion reignited within your, your marriage or your relationship. Beautiful energies. It's going to be very important for you to dance, move your body to the music, dance with the rhythm of life, Pisces. Manifest your dreams through dance. Progress, not perfection. Don't compare yourself to others or judge yourself. Instead, focus upon how far you've come and all that you've learned. This overall energy, like I said, there's a promise of this to come. More. This this whatever this brings you joy and hope and peace and happiness within your heart there may be a need for you to pause and reflect maybe take a temporary retreat a time of contemplation this week uh, maybe it's just as simple as needing to take a day off and ground yourself i feel that you're going to move forward using logic and reason as well making decisions i do feel like for some of you you're cutting out talks toxic people or situations in your life um, and you are really showing your authority especially when it comes to uh, you and others you know letting people know who you are and what you're made of and you know you really taking a stand for what you believe in this week you are moving towards something that you're very passionate about there's a new beginning of excitement here and and self-confidence you know this creative vision I feel you, many of you have done your research, you know, you are really, you know, putting a lot of time and effort into what it is this new beginning has to deal with in your situation. For some of you, the Seven of Swords could have been, you know, somebody that was deceitful or uh, was wearing a false mask and you are cutting them out of your life. Uh, or setting up, some of you may be setting up boundaries as well. Take that leap of faith. You have this new beginning here. You're trusting in the universe. You're believing in yourself. Your cup is running over. You have an abundance of, you know, growth here. Unconditional love for yourself and others. You know, some of you are becoming one with your higher self. Whatever this cup is to you, it is running over. It's Your cup has been refilled. It's almost like that temporary retreat that you started at the beginning of the week here. A time of contemplation, you know, being rejuvenated. And now you're being refilled, replenished right here. It's time for you to go within. You are a very intuitive person. And there are many wonderful insights that lie waiting inside you. Take time to be quiet and reflect upon the desires of your heart through meditation and prayer. There's no need to take action right now. Be patient with yourself. Now, I feel... Uh, for some of you, when this says to, there's no need to take action right now, be patient with yourself, you know, I feel like that's not going to be for everyone, or what I mean by that is, if you don't want to take action right now, that's perfectly fine. It doesn't matter when you take action on this new beginning here, this new journey, uh, it's just, it all depends on when you are ready, okay? And once you are ready, uh, you will be able to move forward, okay? Choose freedom. Sometimes you may feel as though your way is blocked, but often that's just an illusion. You could free yourself from the obstacles that you're so focused on by choosing a different path. Turn your thoughts away from negativity and instead envision endless other possibilities you might act upon. Beautiful. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you so much. Beautiful message here for Pisces. Thank you so much. 
All right. My good comes from everywhere and everyone. I release all resistance to money and I now allow it to flow joyously into my life. I delight in the financial security that is constant in my life. I move from poverty thinking to prosperity thinking and my finances reflect this change. I am surrounded by love. All is well. I now deserve love, romance, and joy, and all the good that life has to offer me. Beautiful Pisces. All right, please leave me a comment. Let me know how these energies are playing out in your situation. I send you all my love, wishes, and blessings, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye, Pisces.